Hey everyone, Bruce here with Wanna Be Free. On my last video I mentioned a little bit about uh, getting rid of some old hobby stuff and buying some new stuff and this is one of the items that I'm investing in. I've been wanting and looking at gimbals for two or three years and just have never done it and I finally decided to go ahead and invest in one. The one I got is called the Smooth Q and it's by Jiyun, I believe is how it's pronounced. And it's uh, the Smooth Q, it's, it's over two years old as far as uh, how long it's been on the market. It's the cheapest one of the line of, of uh, gimbals by this company. However, it's got some features I think that will suit me really well. It cost me $90 free shipping off of Amazon. I'll put, uh, I'll add this to my Amazon affiliate link list that uh, you can find a link for below in the description. But if you choose to buy one and you buy it through my channel, I really appreciate it. It'll help out the channel, but it won't cost you any more. Anyway, that's my sales commercial for the video. It's very simple. It's got a USB port on the side there for charging. It comes with a cord. It comes with a kind of a hard case so it's nice and protected real small and easy to carry all it has is a joystick for moving up or down and left and right and then a little toggle switch here that has multi-purposes I'm really not doing a full review on this thing I just wanted to show it off to you and and uh, give you guys something to look forward to hopefully some some improvement on some of my video making on the channel now this little tiny tripod stand I bought separately. This particular one is uh, metal, so it's fairly, fairly rigid. It has a good feel to it, fairly stout, and it folds up. And if you leave it on there, there's a quarter twenty uh, hole in the bottom of thread in the bottom of this handle so that you can mount it to a tripod. But it get, does a couple of things. It'll give you more reach for some shots, and it'll also it'll give you a stand so that you can set it down now it also comes with free software they have there's an app for this fits both uh, iOS devices and Android so it gives you an application in order to be able to change your shutter speed your I iOS and uh, white balance you can do that all manually as well as focus manually if that's what you choose to do or you can just leave it all automatic like a normal uh, smartphone camera is so I'm real curious to see as I get into uh, using this to find out what kind of videos I can make with this thing I've been real happy with that phone camera I just don't use it much because it's it's uh, you know shaky video and the same thing with my GoPro Hero 4 which is what I'm uh, filming this with at the moment and if you can see here I have clipped on there an external lens which I also purchased to kind of up the up the game a little bit on some of my video this is a uh, black eye brand and this is again one of the lower versions that they offer it's called the three pack G4 it comes with the wide angle a fisheye which is super wide angle gives you that kind of fishbowl effect and then a macro which is for up real real close taking pictures of flowers or bumblebees or something up real close I've never used any of this stuff before it'll be real interesting to see uh, what kind of creative things I can create with it but with cell phones since they have this this cell phone has some auto s s digital stabilization in it which is which is nice and it works okay it doesn't work nearly as good as a gimbal but it does crop your image down a little bit so with a wide-angle lens this will allow me to to get some of that cropped image back and um, and then some other effects with the other lenses but we'll see how that works out it should be should be pretty fun and pretty interesting hopefully uh, you guys will enjoy the videos that I make with it the uh, application does have some uh, pretty neat features like uh, a moving time-lapse panoramic 
and even a follow me mode. Actually, to be honest with you guys, I was thinking about buying a DL DSLR camera, but I just don't want to spend that kind of money at this point in time. Heck, I've gone this long without a, even without a gimbal, three, three plus years on this YouTube channel. I don't even use the equipment that I have to its fullest capability, so maybe in the future I'll break down and buy a DSLR or something, but this will be something fun to play with. I've read a lot of things and saw a lot of videos. People apparently are saying that uh, gimbals are out because the new GoPros have really good stabilization in them and uh, maybe making a, a gimbal obsolete. And it figures that that's the time I decide to finally break down and buy one. And uh, even if you don't have the gimbal, it'd be cool to have that app for filming and taking photos with your iPhone because you can still use the app to access the uh, controls of your phone. So there's a, there's a little tip for you if you're not interested in a gimbal or anything like that, but you, but you do like to take videos with, a, with your phone. I'm going to shut this off because I'm filming with the GoPro and I want to show you, in addition to this being a smartphone gimbal, it's also adaptable to use with a uh, GoPro. So let me show you that. I'm filming this with my iPhone through the ZY Play app and um, hopefully it's coming out okay. This is the first time I've recorded anything with the app. But here's a shot of the GoPro and uh, some people just mount the GoPro in this clamp that's just a spring-loaded clamp. You can loosen the screw on the back and turn that clamp 90 degrees and then clamp your phone or your uh, GoPro into it or you could do it you know as is but the balance doesn't work out quite right if you do it that way and it, that can be hard on these motors. You want this when you're using it you want the gimbal to be balanced with whatever you have in there so that the the motors don't have to work too hard to keep it level. The only thing the motor is working to do is actually turn the turn the camera. So for me I spent another fifteen dollars and I bought this uh, mount It's called 4 GoPro. It's actually made I think specifically for mounting a GoPro in the DJI Osmo Mobile, but it's a pretty hefty piece of aluminum, really nicely finished. But with this mount, it allows you to uh, to access the the uh, screen on the back of your GoPro if your GoPro has a screen on it, and then it just has this is all metal. It has a metal bracket and a couple of thumb screws that strap your phone into the mount. So let me put put that in the in the uh, in the gimbal and I'll show it to you. This is just a lapel mic that I've used for years with my GoPro. Most of my videos are shot with the GoPro with this my previous videos with this uh, lapel mic. It's plugged into the side of the GoPro and I just need to come up with a piece of tape or something just to hold it steady so it's not flopping around but it works just fine like that when it's mounted in the uh, in the gimbal so let me stop this for a second and I'll show you what that looks like that's what it looks like when it's mounted in the gimbal and you see that wire is hanging off the front for that microphone so it hangs a little bit nose heavy by nose heavy I mean it's not perfectly vertical like this leans forward a little bit but that's not a big deal that's not much at all um, if I find a little bit better way to to wrap up all this extra wire I can probably improve that a little bit but it works really well like this the way this is set up typically you'll have your your camera in there like this but if you do that with the GoPro even if you turn the camera over and put the put the uh, lens clear over here on this side is how it's designed then this motor gets in the way so that's one thing that's nice about this gimbal as opposed to the DJI Osmo this one you can do uh, three clicks on the mode button and it goes into selfie mode and it 
actually films this direction and then this will actually be around like this so so that arm is never in the way no matter what orientation you have the the gimbal in so again that's pretty cool it's so quick and easy to grab this and just go uh, that's why I wanted to set it up so I could use it either with a GoPro or my camera oh by the way this video is also shot with the uh, with the new black eye wide angle lens there you go Oh, another thing that it does on the back here there's a port a USB port with a little rubber cover on it so if you have like a I don't know a foot and a half two foot cord when your phone is in the gimbal you can charge your phone but it's really smooth and quiet as far as I can tell we'll see if it gets motor noise in the video I hear a lot of people making videos complaining about that with gimbals certain gimbals so we'll see if this one does I haven't uh, any of the videos I've watched on this particular one I haven't seen anybody complaining about the motor noise but we shall see so there you go guys June Smooth Q 3-axis smartphone phone gimbal less than a hundred bucks so I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you enjoyed the show and tell. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.